What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, I have to open up with a question. And that question is, is MX Bikes in a breakout error in 2024? And what I mean by breakout is we've had so many avenues of, of approach for fun, different, I should say, for gear, free tracks, pay tracks, and bikes, to where it's like, is everybody literally coming out of that shell and actually wanting to contribute? inside this community and make it better you know what i mean this this game is community driven in a lot of ways and today we're going to be talking more about the bike side and that is skralix's beta 450 that he has created and the ducati desmo 450. huge shout out to you man thank you for allowing me to get these bikes early and test them and what better way than testing these bikes on the roughest track in mx bikes right now which is the usa 2015 glen helen and uh, yeah, man, we're just going to strap in, ride about five laps on both, give my humble opinion on where they sit and just see how they feel. Um, they, like, once again, disclaimer, they are super early in testing, but, um, you know, that man's been hard at work day in, day out. So yeah, appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. Make sure you guys hit a like button and subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's get right into our first five laps on the 450. Bye -bye. Now, before we actually do a full lap, I just wanted to show you what the bike is looking like right now. And this is what the beta is, man. He actually got some really cool designs on this. This thing actually looks really sick. I love the red, white, and blue. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I got to say, Skylix, you actually put some really cool attention to detail here. I really love the, uh, you know, sponsors on it. Just, like, literally how vibrant this bike looks. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get to our five laps. Awesome. So, let's go right out the gate. Let's get a little active on the beta 450 and let's just find out you know where we really stand on this bike whether it's going to absorb a lot of bumps or it's going to be really choppy not be able to hold in the ruts not going to be able to absorb and just see if there's engine braking brake tapping let's go ahead and go with a brake tap right there just a little bit you can see the bike actually kind of head towards down so that's something that the oem bikes lack now which i enjoy with skralix's bikes is that just you really can brake tap and you can see the bike exaggerate the brake tap and i just don't think that's a, a huge you know a huge thing for the oems right now is brake tapping and engine braking and you can really feel the engine braking like on how fast these bikes actually get up and go when you actually turn it back down into first gear it actually does slow the bike down so i like that right here if i was to actually go back down the second you can just see the engine starting automatically absorb it instead of you having to press the brake which i do enjoy so yeah, that's something I've really always caught my eye on, and I just hope that is something that, you know, gets changed in the future for the OEMs, but right now, Skrallix is kind of killing the game for that. But yeah, you can just really drop it down the first gear. You can see how much engine braking comes into it, and I was not able to connect in that rut. So, yeah, he's probably going to be expected a lot of, well, I guess expect in this video a lot of weird physics, a lot of me pushing the bike, allowing it to crash, because I just want to see where the testing is for it. I'm not trying to have it. I'm trying I'm not trying to say like this bike's completely done because he said it's not. So I'm trying to exploit where there's weird physics, um, where you can't connect, where it's still bouncy, still choppy, and stuff like that, you know. So I mean it's really cool to the fact that oh my goodness, this thing just sent oh! <laughs> yikes, dude. You can just see though, like off the bat, just how much more speed these bikes have to torque to the back wheel. And you know, you just, a huge controversy on the game being too fast right now, whether we need to slow the bike down, which I completely agree. I, you know, I want a little bit more to where it's like, I really have to work hard, slow the bike down through some of these corners and, and really take it nice and slow to actually make it feel as if like it's realistic for IRL riding. Um, granted, I've never ridden a dirt bike on dirt, right? So I don't really have any any say of like how realistic that could be. I think there's just certain aspects where it's like no matter what, it's universal. You know, you want bikes to be slowed down because you know it's all about bringing that power band back up. If you're staying at Mach 10, it's like man, like where's the fun? Where's the thrill of allowing you to change change and you know coming through a corner nice and slow and then drive out of it that's the fun about being on a on a dirt bike any kind of bike you know i do have this 450 supermoto so like i know exactly like i love the torque of a bike man i don't want to sit here at 60 miles per hour all day you know so i don't know it's just something in my own little personal preference and i can see that the bikes definitely need work on turning at times i think there's nothing wrong with actually connecting these ruts like even here like let's see this turn around like 180 like the bike can actually completely lock in i just think the turning at times could be fixed up but that also comes with a bike setup nice see and actually i do enjoy now that he's he's took the time out to understand that if you come mach 10 you're not going to get it you're not going to get in there 
this bike actually has more control stability at a lower rate of speed. So I think that's what I'm starting to also realize that his bikes actually kind of, you know, accelerate and I guess thrive in the lower aspect of, of lower, lower speed, which you want, man. Like I said, like, oh my God, I jumped over that again. You don't want that, that let's go, 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 go the whole time, you know, actually take the time down, hit your progressions and get into a rut, make the turn, you know what I mean? And drive out. I think that's why he has a lot of speed in these bikes because it allows you to re-accelerate pretty quick, which I think a lot of people aren't going to understand that. It's like, oh, well, it's so fast. It's like, well, there's a catch to it, right? You're supposed to slow down and have a lot of stability control of the bike going at a lower rate of speed, and then you can actually get that torque to the back wheel and allow yourself to push back out. You know, we want to play a video game at the end of the day, so I completely understand it. But I really love that I can stay third to fourth gear on this bike and really push. You can see, like, in fourth gear, I'm almost at 70 miles per hour. Which is also basically what you are doing in IRL as well, man. You're actually pushing P. And I'm not a huge 450 rider in this game, so allowing myself to get on this 450 and just feel some type of way to feel comfortable, feel, feel like I'm, I'm there, you know, I, I gotta love it. And what's crazy is that these things are still in testing, so I can only imagine how much better these bikes are gonna be when they're fully released, you know? I like the beta, dude. I like the beta. I love the... I love how every bike he he has came out with, like they don't look fat. Like they have a de definitely different weird model on them. You know what I mean? Like they don't look anywhere near to what OEM bikes look like. And I like that. I love the plastics on it. It's really nice. And it's just a different spin up. So huge shout out to you, Skrallix. Right now I'm, I'm just getting around, man. I feel planted. I Like off jumps, I think you can like ride certain bumps or ride certain tracks where you can get like a Poboso bounce. I think he's kind of mitigated that completely to where you don't really get a Poboso balance. It feels definitely more planted. The suspension actually reacts to like how you were, you know, on the bike. And I like that, dude. And I, I could be completely fibbing and overhyping and glazing, but I mean, it does feel great. Like I kid, I kid you not, like I'm over jumping on accident and it's not like I'm getting a super repercussion to where I have to bounce 50 feet in the air for OJ, OJing something, you know, like it actually, you know, plants the bike and Realistically, IRL, I'd probably be getting my giblets hurt, but I like it, you know, and I just ran a 158, my fastest time ever on here, I think is a 156.2 on a 250, so I really wonder if I was to actually lock in, probably push P and get some good laps, maybe I could run something really fast, and I don't know what a 450 lap looks like on this, on here, I, I don't, like I said, I don't, I, it's my first time actually get coming on this track on a 450, so I'm very, I'm very curious to where if I can really push it, but and this bike does feel great. It's like these bumps right here are no joke, and just look how it how it absorbs. I can go down the first gear, engine brake it, just couldn't make the turn, which kind of sucks. So like I said, if you're if you're gonna be going Mach 10, you gotta slow the bike down if you want to turn. And that's something I still need to learn. That's something I still need to learn. Now for the advancements of this bike, whether that be technology and stuff, and just like how like IRL realistic technology. I think these bikes are killing it for 2024 to 2025. Super excited for the 2025 bikes to come out. Um, I think that's going to be a force to be reckoned with. New, you know, modules of like technology of just traction control, allowing you to actually not get the bike to spin out in your back wheel, knowing whether you're in what climate you're in for soft dirt, high dirt, you know, what what's the power band to the bike. I mean, that's absolutely insane to me. And I really hope that, you know, maybe the OEM team and or, you know, Scrouts here can kind of mirror something like that to where these bikes kind of counter re I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's possible. I, I mean, it is a video game, but it'd be sick if these get bikes could literally like adapt and or fill the climate control of a of a of where we are on a track. Now, I granted that would have to be something that would be a track creator thing as well. It would be after like a, a mix, which I think would be super sick. I might have to come out with a video with this just to kind of explain it, but uh, go more into depth. Just basically where you, wherever the, the track is IRL, here's a climate control or climate change on it and the bike can actually react to it. For instance, like Colorado being high altitude, bikes aren't gonna go as fast, you know? Like what if it actually counter reacted to that to where it's like a different speed change? I don't know, something to think about. I might actually have to come out with something like that. Just like a, talk, a TED talk of like, what if that was to be done inside the game and like the, like, you know, just like ecosystem of it. So 
that's pretty sick. I was like, actually a really cool, fun idea I thought of. I don't know if that's like something super hyped and like, Kelsey, you're out of your mind, but. <laughs> All right, I didn't like how my last few laps went. I really wanted to give you guys a like a good last little lap spot, so, or a last little lap. Um, so we're gonna actually try to dive in and just focus up and we can get head over to our Ducati Desmo. Nice. Scrub a roo. Bike feels absolutely amazing under me, dude. Like the planting, the like the plant being planted on this bike feels so amazing. Like I don't feel as if it's super bouncy. I hope that's like every bike where it's just, just like he did like wonders with this beta right now. Uh push, push, push. Up the hill. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we're up on time. If we can run like an actual good heater here. Second gear, drive. Nice, let's go. Engine braking, there you go. You can just feel the engine braking actually happen when you go back down the second uh, gear. Nice, 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 no! No, I wasn't able to slow down. Maybe I actually should have went down to first gear and stopped getting on the gas. I think I would have had a pretty good go around for it. Dang, bro, that was actually, it would have actually been amazing. I think I was actually pushing people out there. It was like a point nine up. I was like, like point nine up. It's all right, though. Once again, I wasn't coming out here to try to fully push, but I definitely wanted to push that. I, I felt like I could have actually ran something great. For being in testing, this bike feels absolutely great. I really wonder like what he sees that I don't know. Like what he sees and I don't know is like what these bikes are almost ready for or not ready for. I'm super excited to retest these bikes when they fully come out. Cause it's like a whole different like a kit series on it. Like he has a whole bunch of different bikes in the pack. But I wanted to just only come out and really, you know, touch up on the beta and the Ducati. But yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get into the Ducati. All right, next up is the Ducati Desmo 450. Um, I think the only thing that he did different on this bike from what I was looking at in the pictures is just like the seats black and the, you know, where the black is supposed to be is actually supposed to be red. But um, that's about it that I've all seen on this bike different. But this is the Ducati Desmo. And uh, yeah, man, he's got it all the way down to the actual STM with the gold on there. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's absolutely amazing. My foot's kind of in the way. But yeah, this bike is actually really fun. And I've been waiting for this bike a long time. I'm going to be D1 bound on it. So... <laughs> What I mean by D1 bound is basically like I want to make this bike work no matter what and I want to get oh you can definitely see the difference in suspension but I just want to make this bike work like I want it to be viable I want it to be a good bike I don't want it to just come out and it kind of just don't really give it like enough like I'm not saying I need this bike to be absolutely the Terminator or literally the best bike in the freaking pack but no like I want it to be viable to where I can actually ride it to where it's like it's not going to be like the TM to where it's like yeah, we'll give you the bike, but, like, we don't really want to, like, make it OP. It's like, well, you didn't make it anything, you know what I mean? You just gave us a bike. So I don't want it to go into a TM, you know, aspect, you know, just because it's new. But I really want this bike to work out. But immediately you can see the difference in suspension. I think that the Beta 450 is super planted, which I actually enjoy. So I might have to go ride the Beta a little bit more. That thing is actually pretty fun. But... That's not going to deter me from this Ducati Desmo 450. I'm going to make this thing work. It definitely has more power than the Beta 450. I will say that thing is absolutely pushing P. So let's see how it goes down these bumps. Wow, just look at that. Engine braking though? Dude, that's what I love. That's what I love is the engine braking on, the, on these bikes. And I should have been doing that more for the Beta of actually dropping it down the first gear down these hills so I actually could have connected. I will I, I do stand by that going in these ruts completely a little bit slower and connecting allows you to actually Have more control of the bike and you can actually spin out and ride Like, like on the acceleration on these bikes you can see how fast you can push out of them So I don't think you're really losing anything I don't think you're any like losing any value of like going that slow Getting out because you're just gonna accelerate the bike pretty fast But as you see this bike is definitely a little bit more powerful definitely still in the early testing stages this thing does not know where it fits on the food chain oh man like at all dude this thing is absolutely insane and i really this is hopefully something that skralix can find out or figure out by me riding to where he knows what's going to be wrong with it oh man that was a big boy whip that was a little bit more planted if we can do some engine braking connecting this middle rut yeah see you can just see how fast it actually picks back up on speed there we go, baby. Nice. 
Nice real whip -roo. All I did was change the, you know, fork offset and all that just so I can turn the bike. These bikes do have a hard time still turning. So I, I think I've said that enough. So uh, definitely, if not, I will send it in a message to where it's like turning is just absolutely not necessarily atrocious like stock, but like, yeah, it's just like I could not turn the bike really to save my life that much stock to where it's like, man, um, I mean, I, I shouldn't say that, like, because then it, he might go back into the pack and, like, be like, oh, well, what am I doing wrong? Like, it might just be me in my controller settings. Someone else might be able to get on their controller settings and be like, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with it, you know what I mean? So, to each their own, I think stock is just, like, you really have to stock. Stock turning it has to slow down the bike completely, and that's maybe something I just didn't kind of catch on until now. So, we can take this little lip. Uh-oh, trouble. We're good, we're good. Engine braking, engine braking, yeah, that me. Look at that. Oh, I love this bike, dude. I love this bike. I really want this bike to work out, man. I'm super stoked for when it actually drops. But yeah, thank you guys for so much for clicking on this video, man. If you guys made it this far, man, definitely hit that freaking like button, subscribe button. And um, I guess I'll make it a little weird thing. If you made it this far, can you type dragon? <laughs> you oh, no, dragon in the comment section if you made it this far. I really greatly appreciate that. That is like something i did a very long time ago just to see who really sticks around and it's not like a, a shade or throw into anybody else that doesn't stick around i think i just like to do that and i like i really greatly appreciate the ones that would do that so if you suck around this long in the video yeah type that dragon if not nobody typed it then i kind of just understand like all right bet where can i work on actually keeping your viewer attention to this point that's all that is uh Big whips, though. I will say, like, that's what I do enjoy about these bikes is just the nimbleness. And I'm actually, let's talk up a little bit about IRL. Uh, Benny Bloss and, you know, I think it's Caroli coming up on the Ducati. So Benny Bloss is on the Beta 450, and then you got Caroli coming up on the Ducati 450. I'm, when are they coming to motocross, dude? Because it said, you know, season of 2024. And I, I know Benny Bloss is hurt, I think, I believe, and he's not back. But, homeboy, where are you at for the Ducati? I'm trying to see that thing out there. Like, I'm trying to see how it competes and if that bike is actually going to be everything it says it will be because Ducati don't make du Ducati don't make second runner-ups. I will say that. Ducati don't make second runner-ups. Those oh, they, they got some amazing bikes, right? So I really want to see how that bike's going to perform for outdoors, but do I have to wait till like, half the season over for you guys to be here? Or, like, what's up? Like, where are they? So I, I really hope for round two you know, of outdoors nationals that they're actually going to show up, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to when they're actually going to come because I really don't know. And man, was that bounce ugly. Man, was that bounce ugly. Holy smokes. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was actually really looking forward to seeing if, you know, the Ducati was going to be out there and didn't see it. Didn't see it, but huge shout out to Triumph actually pushing P. I mean, Jalik Swole and Savachi is actually really showing, you know, Triumph a really great first season, whether that be Supercross or motocross so i don't think savachi no i don't think savachi i don't think savachi was in supercross i could be wrong but i know for sure julie swell was and he's been actually pushing p so i really see them actually you know performing those bikes definitely well at least a podium maybe here or there at least top five more so i really want to see where the ducati sits and he does have a ducati 250 now i don't know if the ducati is actually coming out with a 250 i really just didn't actually take a look to research that so let me know that in the comment section if you made it this far as well just to see if they actually are making a, a, a 250 version if not if it's only a 450 or they just haven't found 450 riders yet could be the biggest thing could be the biggest thing but i will say right now this ducati to the beta it just doesn't feel as planted it feels like it definitely needs more work and like once again all these are in the testing as phase they're not fully released so maybe this is something he goes back to the drawing board to find out where this bike is actually lacking or is that just how the suspension is and you have to just put a good suspension so once again these are all stock other than me doing the turning radius so i can only imagine if you actually had a setup for the beta 450 how planted that bike would be and how plush and dangerous it would be i feel like realistically if i had to think about it the tm and the, the tm 450 and the beta 450 are probably going to be a huge force to be reckoned with inside of the eight kits and that's probably where i'm going to put a huge of my focus in and if i had to make a third decision i definitely like i said want this ducati to make it so something we just got to look forward to and really understand and hope for the best
nice engine braking a little bit of brakes is there as well there nice really want to try these next on supercross like i want to see how these suspensions work on supercross i think motocross is just kind of like in the air right now but you just never know like you you never know when you got to do a little bit of soupy and you know you got to show out so you really want to know if you have a bike to go to Ooh, always going through the whoops is the biggest thing to see where suspensions really rely on you know whether they're not too plush or super stiff and you know you're getting bucked off that freaking seat and that that's insane these freaking you know, i'm just gonna claim here <laughs> that's insane that you know some of that just oh my goodness like a little front tuck issue i haven't really had front tuck issues though that was like the first of, of, of like i hope not many but going to our last little lap see if we can actually push a little bit of p i always say let's push a little bit of p and i mess up in just certain spots there we go third gear is always so fun on these bikes having third gear be such a viable option is amazing all right up a whole second i will say uh my ideal lap for the beta was a 155 so like i think i was actually moving really good on that bike and uh i'm still at a 159 on this bike i haven't even beat my beta so i think there's just a lot of testing that still needs to go into this bike for it to get where it needs to be whether that be it's you know suspension the turning um you know just stuff like that simple simple things to where it's just messing up um, i'm huber super thankful for skralix for like allowing like you allowing me to get these bikes early and allow me to do a video um yeah super excited for the outdoors especially for coming up for round one paula in the game um I have decided to use the fourth uh, the honda 250 so that's going to be my go-to and we're just going to try to give it a go for na so super happy here we go nice but once when that ducati comes out if that ducati comes out like mid season I'm switching <laughs> If that Ducati comes out like mid-season, I'm switching. And I was up like a whole second and I messed up over this little, little up and over. So that's unfortunate for me. I guess I'll take the L on that one. But I want to say thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Um, yeah, future's coming, man. Future's coming for bikes and I'm really excited for it. So appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't hit that like button, subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep cranking out some bids, man. appreciate it. Catch you in the next one. Super Bye, BS Kelso. Bye, 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 bye